Yo, what's up, it's Grizz, and today we're gonna learn how to do a jigsaw transition that I use in like all my videos, pretty much. And so first, what you wanna do is just have everything set up. So this is what I got so far. Something simple like that could work, you know. This is only a test for me, so what you wanna do, cause I'll, well, where I want my transition is from this kill to this swing right here. All right, to start this transition, what you wanna do, if you don't want a HUD in in your trans, in your jigsaw, then uh, oh, um, then open up Valorant and you're gonna need a green screen or something like that. So just have that ready. If you don't want a HUD or if you don't mind having a HUD, then you could just skip to this time stop I put on the video. And so now what you wanna do is just open up Valorant. Now once you have Valorant open, you can just go to custom game. So my transition is going to be on Pearl. So I'm going to go to Pearl. Just make sure you have all the cheats on. Uh, it doesn't matter what skin you have. So just go to custom. Start it up. The agent doesn't matter either. So you just pick an agent you want. So now that you're here. So it's the settings you want to change. Turn on the pause match timer and the game. So there's no barriers. Turn everything on here. Turn this on too. Um, crosser, disable the crosser, or you can keep it on for now. But when you, I'll tell you when to disable it. Uh, video stats, turn them all off. And then for in general, to turn off your HUD, you have to scroll down under other. It says, where is it at? Other, right here. Hide user interface in game. Turn it on. So now there wouldn't be a HUD and. Now is what you want to do is just go to where go to where you want the jigsaw to be. So if I look back, jigsaw is right here. So I have to be I'm like standing around here, I guess. Find the right spot. All right, so I kind of found where I was in the video. I'm like around here. That's similar. That's close enough. So what you want to do once you have your spot, buy an operator, and then turn off your crosser. Now you can turn off your crosser and then pull out the operator and either screenshot or clip the um, your screen when because it's like in the beginning nothing comes out on the bottom left or for me it's bottom left because i run left hand nothing comes up nothing pops up so it's just straight up like no interface no hands nothing nothing pops up so i say clip it now that's pretty much it now what you want to do you should just close out valorant it doesn't matter no more all right, now that I have the clip, I can just go to where I pull out the op. So that was around here. Let me find it. So like right there, perfect. Now what you want to do is find a spot where nothing appears on the screen. So like this is good enough. Now what you want to do is right click, go to speed, and then freeze frame. And then now you have a freeze frame of that whole entire thing. That's where you're going to jigsaw. So now you can just bring, it, bring this over. Put it over the clip and just check it out. See if it looks good. It looks close enough. All right. And let's say you don't mind there being a HUD. All you need to do is to set up your jigsaw is get your clip and duplicate it. Go one frame backwards, extend it one frame. And then you could just freeze frame it from that frame. And then now you have this. So... Now what you want to do is go to fusion, grab a blur, any blur could work, turn up the size a little bit, copy the media in one, attach it to the blur so it creates a merge, and then just mask the stuff you want to mask, so I'm going to start masking and yeah. Alright, now that you're done with the first mask, all you need to do is just copy and paste the same kind, same mini tree thing that you have copy and paste it and then just rewind reset the polygon and then turn it off again and then you can just mask it as many times as you want so now i'm gonna do the floor so i'm gonna mask the floor now i just masked everything out so i got the wall the floor other wall whatever that is like the whatever that is too and like the fucking sky yeah i got everything so now what you want to do delete the first media and then blur add a background node behind it 
Now get the alpha, turn it all the way down. Leave it at black, leave the color at black. Now what you want to do is highlight all of them, hold shift and drag them up. So now it should be transparent like this. Now what, you, what I want to do is just order it. Now I like to order it. So let's say I want the floor to be the first one that comes up. What I want to do is just, again, hold shift, drag it out of this place. Highlight it, hold shift, drag it out, and then put it here in the front. Now what you want to do is just drag it down till you can't see it no more. Keyframe at the beginning or wherever you're at. Now go all the way to the end of this clip and put 0.5 because that's the original placement. Now what you want to do, open spline and do a graph like this. Like a fast slow. Pretty, pretty simple, something like that. And then to add it to make it look a little bit better, you could always go to settings, add your motion blur. So now it looks like this. This is a slight difference. See, kind of blurry uh now now for the next one what you want to do is grab your next grab your next mask drag it on go like a few frames for it i like going around six and same thing just drag it down till you can't see it no more and the last frame put it back to 0.5 add your motion blur go to spline do another fast slow graph so now it looks like this now now we're making a little bit of progress. Go go another few frames forward. And then for your next one, you can or you can grab whatever you want. I'm going to do this left wall. And then for this one, it's going to be kind of weird because you're going to make it come up from here. It will look weird if you bring it all the way down. So if you have a problem like that, all you need to do is click to on the merge. Go one frame backwards. Drag it all the way down. Drag your clip all the way down until you can't see it. Keyframe, go one frame forward. Now you could put it back. You could put, you could display it back on the media out, and then you just drag it up till you could can't till you could barely see it, like just a little bit. Now you keyframe there, and then at the end, you put a 0.5. Same settings, motion blur. This time your graph is gonna look kind of weird. It's gonna look something like this. You can still do a fast slow though, just don't worry about the first keyframe. Key first keyframe doesn't really matter. So now, it looks like that. It looks way smoother. And then now what you want to do is just keep doing that same process. So my next one's going to be the back wall. So now it looks like that. Something smooth. It looks. It would look better in edit page once it's like pre-rendered. And now what you want to do is to add more decoration to it, or not like decoration, but like to make it look a little bit better, you could always add a drop shadow. So in the background, it's like all black, like right here, it's black. You can barely tell, but it'll look good. So this is what we got. All right. And then let's check it out on edit page. That looks that looks good I like that now what you want to do is we're gonna add a green screen green screen simple I'll make another tutorial on that it should be easy to do let's say you don't have a green screen of the clip or the gun like you don't have the gun at all what you could do is you could always go back to the clip right here the clip right after the jigsaw you could change the speed freeze frame it and so now it's frozen like this and then you could always mask out the gun like this all right so my mask is done so you could always like do that and then for the animation you could bring it to the from the side just make sure nothing's showing no hand nothing Bring it from the side, do like a little simple animation from it sliding. You could add motion blur to it, fix your spline. So it'll be something like this.
That looks good. And again, you could always add a drop shadow to it. But that's simple. If you want it to look good, I say use a I say use a green screen. It'll look better. Give you the full animation. So for this one, I'm gonna bring this to the side. I'm gonna grab a green screen very quickly. I'll be back. Alright, I just got the green screen. Now you just wanna pop it over here. Alright, green screen's kind of simple. Just delta key it. Let me bring it up. Delta key here. Fifty displays that. Let's see. Something like that. And then. I'm not gonna lie. This gun is such a bad. It's so bad for green screens. What the fuck? Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Something like that could work. It's not gonna look the best because. Yeah. It's bad skin of green screen. So now, with, now that you have your green screen, you can add your drop shadow. But before the drop shadow, add a transform. If you want to be kind of like cool with your jigsaw or with your green screen, you could always like do a slide animation again. So put your motion blur, graph, keyframe, something like that could work. Alright, I got the green screen. So it's, it's gonna it's gonna look something like this, but this gun sucks with green screen, so I'm gonna just put a mask. Alright, so it looks something like this. Well, you're done with the green. You're done with the jigsaw now. Simple stuff. And I mean, finishing touches. You could always add scale in and out. So scale in, so like give it like a little bounce, you know, so something like this could work. Graph. For graph, you could do, see that. See how this looks. So it's going to zoom in, give it a little bam. There you go. Then add your motion blur. And then something else you could add. I already made a tutorial on it. It's a displace impact. You could add that just to give it like more of like a bounce to it, more impact to the transition. So you could always do that. Keyframe, go to the middle, or not keyframe. Bookmark is what I meant. It looks, it looks good. Pretty clean. Other things you could add is below the clip. You could always add like a blur. This blur that I'm going to use, it's a reactor plugin, it's called Defocus Gamma. I like to put my setting around like 2.5, put that the circle in the middle, right here. To second option, image gamma, all the way up to 5. And then, you could always keyframe, because it keyframe the defocus size, that's what I like to do. So I keyframe, do you graph something like this could work, extend the bottom one. There you go. Another thing you could add, just give it a little more impact. It's a glow, simple glow. Something like that. Alright, and if it's laggy like this for me, it's kind of laggy. So what you want to do is go to playback, render cache, put it on smart. I'll highlight all these clips. Render cache color output. And so it should make it red. There you go. So it's rewatch it till it's blue. Now it should be a smooth, something like this. There you go. See? Now we have your jigsaw. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna add more things to it. I'll be back, show you final product. I added more things to it. Just added scales, some impact. And this is what I got. See? looks way better some things could have been better but that's what i got so yeah that's pretty much it with the jigsaw that's pretty much it for jigsaw hope you liked the video and yeah uh see ya